Hi guys, we're the Hi. Mean Girls Knit Podcast. I'm Stephanie. I'm Rebecca. Um, I'm from, live in Olympia. And I live in Bremerton. So we're from the Pacific Northwest. And we have a knitting podcast where we talk about knitting and knitting and yarn, fiber, knitting. And sometimes That's, food. Sometimes, oh, yeah, you got food to talk about, huh? I got food to talk about. Um, I don't have food to talk about. Anyway, um, hi, welcome to our podcast. If it's your first time checking us out, hi. And if it's your 18th, 18th time, time coming back, <laughs> thanks for believing in us. Okay, so um, we have a knitting podcast. Yeah, we talk about knitting. You, you can find us. All the oh, information is I down below. I always that. I'm so bad. So we'll put it all that. down there. The best way to contact us is probably through in- message through Instagram. Message me on Instagram. You can also send a message on Ravelry. It just may take a little while because we don't check Ravelry every day. I'm trying to be better about that. But it's not working. Okay, I'm way off to the side. The camera, I'm trying to look directly at you guys, but it's difficult. Okay, so. New spot, new Do location. I look like I'm looking directly at the camera when you're looking? Because I can't see me. Do I look okay? Yeah. Right, okay. You're, you're right, in the room. We're, we're okay. right lined up. We're good. Great. This is a different setup. Um, we're in my living room today. And yeah, we, uh, we decorated the background with a lot of thought and purpose. So I hope you guys appreciate all the effort we put into it. Um, yeah. So. A lot of work. A lot of work. How have you been? It's been two weeks. Has it only been two weeks? Oh, yeah, it's only been two weeks. I've got I know. so much done. Wow. Look looking at my pile. That's I know. Amazing. That never happens. Like, I got my, my mojo back. I'm, I'm knitting like crazy. Mm-hmm. Knitting weather has finally mojo. came. Um, so, yeah. Everything's been good. We uh, went to the fair. And if you follow on my Instagram. We saw all the food. You got to follow along with all my food. And you guys, that, I, that wasn't even all the food. <laughs> so much food happened that day That's like between like Howard and my two kids and we went with my brother and my mom and my dad oh my god you guys we were trying everything yeah but you know what like you only go to the fair once a year right yeah you might as well just stuff your face uh, I had fried butter Mm, fried butter sorry about the noises my daughter's in the background making make a noise but yeah fried butter I fried but I fried butter and like care about my arteries I don't no, but yeah, like I was telling her other sister about it and she's like, oh my gosh, you ate that? It's a cube on a stick. And I'm like, it's not a cube on a no. stick. It's a little melon ball of butter dipped in dough and fried up. Okay, it's still not good for you, but I'm not eating a huge stick of butter. I'm eating just a little, little ball of butter. So, I'm not judging. I'm yeah. not judging. I don't know, even if you were, I enjoyed it. I, I'm not sorry. It was so good. But yeah, so I had such a good food week. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. It was. Nice. I really am. I couldn't find the pie place though. Um. Yeah, it's behind the barns or something. I know, but I think they got rid of it. There's a pie place at the Puyallup Fair. It's I will never call it the Washington State Fair. It's Puyallup Fair forever. Yeah. And fight the, me, like seriously, I will. I will fight you. We still call it the Puyallup Fair. So, cool. I had a horrible two weeks. My boyfriend, no names. Neil, uh, wrecked our car. He's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's all good. So that's been a problem. Um, Our furnace is having issues. And yeah, no, my life has just been fantastic. Uh, It's been it's been a struggle, but knitting has been there for me. So I got a lot done. Knitting is a good friend. Knitting is my friend, my buddy. Um, I got a Coke Zero Sugar, which, by the way, if you haven't tried it, it's really good. Coke Zero is nasty, and that was actually really good. It's you good. had it? Yeah, I it's bought it yeah. uh, right after you said that. I bought it. Yeah, it's like definitely these. a lot more like Coke than the Coke Sugar was. Or Coke Zero was. Coke Zero. I was a huge fan of Coke Zero. But, no, Coke, Coke but Zero Cherry Coke gross. Zero was good. No, I'm not a fan of Coke, Cherry Coke Cherry Zero. Cherry Coke Zero was all gross. So we have some giveaways to do. Yes. And I want to start with a giveaway. I think that'd be fun. Okay, let's, let's start just, with a giveaway. Let's just start with cool. a giveaway. Let's okay, so that. last episode, I my, my, it's been crazy, and I didn't do a very good job responding to the YouTube comments. It's been... Sorry, I'm sorry. I just... Instagram is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, it's been nuts. So, what I decided to do was we're going to do a $25 gift card to Etsy giveaway. Um, and we drew a random comment from YouTube um, as a surprise slash giveaway. So, hooray, uh, Bees Knit Podcast. That's right. Bees Knits, Bees Knits Podcast left us a comment. It was actually number one, and number one never wins. So, I was pretty f- happy about that. Um, so message me on Instagram. The information's down below, but I mean, you already know it. Follow me. So, um, congratulations. 
this is really exciting so just message me and let me know that you saw this and if you don't see it within a week I'll just message you um which is kind of weird you want a contest you didn't enter um <laughs> but you know so we hopefully, just hopefully you see it I think it's just the um the surprise of like oh wow I won a contest I didn't know so hopefully hopefully you see this and you've watched far enough in five minutes into it to see that so that's exciting um so congratulations and thanks for all the comments we did read them we do appreciate them it's just i only have a phone for i don't have a computer or anything so it's difficult but instagram i always respond always um and also i just want to touch before we start anything else i just want to say that we have a thread in our group you can't knit with us on ravelry and you can message us there it's called knitting help and if you have any questions about anything you're knitting any techniques you're doing if you want advice or uh, anything else at all we will help you we will find you resources we will find videos I'll make a video if I have to honestly to help you out and there have been people who have been asking us questions in there and we appreciate every single one of them we are more than happy to help you with anything you need so if you want to post in the group if you want to just message us privately because you don't want to say on the group how do you make a knit stitch or whatever you know what I mean like just message us that's totally fine we are always available we're stay-at-home moms um, and we have nothing to do we're not too busy to talk to you or to, you know, answer your questions or whatever. Right? Yeah. I'm speaking for you. I hope that you're no, okay. No, no, you're okay. I just don't want to, like, interrupt you. Be like, yeah, yeah, everything she said. So, yes, I'm happy to help. We're happy to help. Um, I, yep. every, yeah. There you go. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Message either one of us. We always respond. I'm always on Instagram. I'm always on my phone unless I'm driving. Um, so if I'm driving, you might have to wait a few minutes. Other than that, I pretty much answer it instantly. Um, cool. So, and then we have another giveaway coming up, but we're going to hold off on the giveaways for a second and move on to finished objects. What do you got? An old one. But that's kind of... That ties into, ties into okay. work in progress. I have a finished so. object, sort of, um, if you don't count okay. knitting sleeves or weaving it in. And, and we don't count, I never count I never that, count so that. I, I, so that's, it's a finished object, even though I still have stitch markers hanging out of it, and life lines and everything else. This is my Julissa sweater. This is so pretty. I have an Smith. Like little... $6.50 on Ravelry. Oh yeah, let's do that. There we go. Just open it up real quick. Yeah, see, so this is that. It's got cabling down the sleeves. I kind of messed up on them. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm not telling you, so... It's so gorgeous, though. I really like it. It's oh a little small. I used Cascade 220 uh, Merino Superwash, which is different than the Cascade 220 Superwash. It's Merino. It's, so it's a little bit softer, and it's a little bit bulkier, so it's a worsted weight. Um, it's like a light worsted, I think. And it's a little bit itchy, and it's a little bit small. My arms are kind of big, I guess, because the... Yeah, no. So this is my Rhinebeck sweater. It's so pretty. Thanks. I really it's like gorgeous. it. It's gorgeous. I really like it. Um, it looks really, really good on you. Thanks. Yeah, I showed her earlier. But yeah, so it's got that going down the middle. The back is just plain. It was, and I said this on the last podcast, it was really simple and it was written exactly the way I would love to write sweater patterns if I wrote them, which I, I'm not ever going to do. Um, so what size needles did you use on this thing? Five Eight? or six? Six. Yeah. Sixes? Maybe sixes, five or sixes. Yeah. So it uh, was something and did you gauge it forever this is my gauge watch right here um it's a little small so i need to go up a needle size i think or up a size but too late it's already done which is crazy because you're kind of typically a loose i'm a really knit. loose knitter so i never do gauge watches because i'm like oh, i'll just knit my size and if it's loose it's okay but apparently i knit that one pretty tight it's only got the one cable i don't know it took forever cables kind of tighten things up anyway yeah i don't know it's kind of it's, it's not it's okay it's all right it's a sweater it's functional it works i'm gonna wear it and i'm gonna block it today remarkable. it's gorgeous hope, yeah no it's, it's great i'm really happy with it i really am um, no, it was the last June. time you saw it it was like this big so i finished the whole thing but it took like two weeks and i can knit a fingering weight sweater in 10 days like a straight stockinette fingering weight sweater in 10 days um that took me like two weeks and i'm like it's size sevens i use sevens i use size sevens on that and it took me forever I also didn't work on it very much, but that's not the point. The point is, is that it felt like it took years. One of those sleeves took me like four days. And then the other sleeve took me one. That's so crazy. Anyway, it took forever. But the cabling was really simple. Really easy pattern to follow. Highly recommend. Really, 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 really easy. So, 
I haven't almost finished Ozark, but yeah. What do you and know? that was Jalissa by Vanessa Smith. I said that, yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, Jalissa by guys. Vanessa Smith on Ravelry. Oh, $2.50. Um, and she has a scoop neck version too that comes down lower on your neck if you want to do that. Oh, does she? Yeah. There's two versions. No. But you have to, I think they're separately. I think you have to buy them both separately. So. Oh. oh. There's not together. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> so. I kind of have like a finished oh, you, object. You have an almost finished object. I have an almost finished object and I was going to complain about it. So, <laughs> two years ago, I knit the Jessie Girl top. Jessie's Girl? Jessie's Girl, which, which is by Elizabeth Smith and it's a pay for pattern on Ravelry and it's a gorgeous, easy top. And this top is supposed to be garter and I converted it all to stockinette. And I knit this out of... Riley by Haiku, which is a 50% baby alpaca, 25% mulberry silk, and 25% linen. It's super silky it's and fun. It's a gorgeous yarn. I've never worn this, by the way. You've never worn it? Have you ever tried it? You know it how on? you don't wear your shawl? Yeah! You know how yeah. you don't wear your shawls? Yeah. I don't wear my sweaters. I get that. I don't so, wear my sweaters either. So, I, it's gorgeous. It's just been hanging in my closet. Okay, but I, I see converted this to stockinette. Woven your ends. Yeah. And I just... I adapted the short row shaping, and I was like, I can do anything. And I was like, this is a bad idea, because this was a couple years ago. And she was two like, years I'm here. just going to do, instead of garter, I'm going to do stockinette. And I was like, I don't think you should do that, because you can't change a pattern. And I'm like, That yeah. would be crazy. But no, she actually, and it actually worked out really well, and I was surprised. Although, I will say that now, if she said the same thing, I'd be like, yeah, go for it. It'd be great. But at the time, I was like, that's a bad idea. Yeah, this is like the second sweater I ever made. Well, top. I mean, yeah, and it, and it fits really beautifully. I don't know why I've never worn it. I just, I don't know, it just hangs in my closet and I love it. Yeah. So, I need to wear it. It's gorgeous. So, Which, I'm like, oh, I can do that. So, right. then I decided to knit the Manzilla. Right? Man, Manzanilla? Manzanilla. Thank you. By Hohi Locatelli. And, oh you guys, I am pretty much finished it. I love it. I got the ribbing, and this is supposed to like every few rows it has a pearl ridge. So I'm like, I'm just gonna make it completely stuck in it because I don't like the pearl bumps on sweaters. And yeah. then it came time to pick up for my cuffs. And it said, pick up X amount of stitches. And I'm like, okay. So I pick up X amount of stitches, and it was so tight. Because if you have the pearl stitch, it kind of will make this smaller. Stockinette is longer. Yeah. Then if you have the pearl, it just shrinks up a little so bit. It kind of, look, it kind of looks like that. So I have to do s s some fiddling around with this, and I haven't at all because I have not had the brain power to want to do the math to figure out how many stitches I have to pick up for the cuff and the ribbing. Okay, can I make a suggestion? Hmm. See how the cable is longer than this, and it goes up. Yeah. And then it dips down. Why don't you just pick up around here, around the bottom edge, and then knit back and forth until you have, until it's even. Like knit two or three rows so that it's even with the cable. And then pick up the cable stitches. Because it's not that much different. Once you, because of the, this, because it's stuck in it, it's rolled. Well, so it's not, see, it's only a just little a different. little different. A little bit, but not much. So I don't, I just got to do the math and figure out how many stitches to pick up. It, it's not a hard fix. It's just like it really put me back into my place after this. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, and I like, encouraged oh, her to okay, do it. She was sorry. like, I'm going to remove the pearl row. And I was like, that's fantastic. You do you. But this is Blue Moon Fiber Arts. Uh, yeah. And in the Wubu, it's yarn, pining for you colorway in the Wubu, which is bamboo and merino. And this is knit the same way as your pants sleeves. Where you oh, it's not merino wool. Where you knit the uh, cable, I thought it was bamboo and wool. You knit the cable panel, and then you pick up around that, and then you knit the sweater. It is no 60% merino, 40% bamboo. It's really great and drapey, and it's such an interesting color because it's absolutely gorgeous. But it's definitely not something that I would have picked out personally if I was shopping. But I'm so I... glad you did because it's fantastic on you. Yeah, I love this color, and I still love this sweater. And I am not sorry at all that I didn't put the pearl ridges in. I love it this way, and it was. I mean, the pattern was really easy to adapt for that way. It's just doing the math on the for the cuffs and the collar because obviously my. Um, my row gauge is going to be different. Yeah. So that's not 
You're gonna be fine. By all it's means, really I can do it. Yeah. I really can. I'm just procrastinating because I don't want to have to think about it, and I have to think about it. So, um, I'm not sorry that I did it this way. I absolutely love it. I love it too. And I did so a great. Kitchener stitch the sleeves together. I don't know. I just everything else I follow the pattern to a T, except for I did the stockinette. And this is your Rhinebeck sweater, right? Yes. This is my second Rhinebeck sweater. Looks really good. So, I'm I'm super excited and um. I love the color. I'm it's, learning. It's very fall. It's great. Yes, I love it. I really do. I love it. It's super soft, too. So, it'll be fine. Hopefully, by the next time you podcast, it'll be completely done, and I will have just sat down one day while the kids are at school and did it. Did it. You can so, do it. I, yes, but that's where that's at. It's not a finished object yet. Well, I have an almost finished object. I'm like two rows from finishing. Are you really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you flew through that. This is my sweater. It's hedgehog fiber sock. I've talked about it before, um, but I didn't put the sleeves on. So I decided to put the sleeves on recently, like yesterday, and I'm working on the sleeves. This is for Molly and it's in the Monarch colorway, hedgehog fiber sock. Um, I hate the yarn, but I will say that it feels really nice knit up. It does. Like it feels good, but knitting with it is a nightmare. It's very, very splitty and very, very thin. And the colorway is gorgeous. The speckles are gorgeous. Super happy with that part, but it's very splitty. Hedgehog fiber sock, not my favorite. It reminds me of Knit Pick Stroll. But it's kind of got a silky feel. Yeah, but it. what I like about it is like, it's also um, all evenly speckled throughout. Yeah. Like it is, it's not. It's really evenly speckled. There's no like faded speckles or anything. Yeah. It's so actually that, really nice. And baby sweaters in fingering weight are one of my favorite things to do with sock yarn. Like one skein that you don't have anything else to do with. It's gorgeous. I, I, think, they're, I think they're a great option, especially for nicer yarn that you don't necessarily want to make into socks. Um, I'm almost done and I have like that much left. And right. this is a size two to four. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a great option. Um, and then it's, it's reversible. This is Raindrops by Tin Can Knits. Super easy. It's done on size threes and ones. And I am literally like two rows away from finding off on the sleeve. And then I just have to weave in the ends like that'll never happen. And then sew up some holes. And yeah. So that's, about to be finished. And I'm doing that because I needed my size threes for my boxy sweater that I'm gonna cast on in salty tails. That's gonna be so pretty. Oh I can't pretty wait to excited. I'm pretty excited about boxy. It's gonna be great, but it's probably gonna be like a two year long project. No, you okay. whipped through it. So, I'm lost talking about. Okay, so what else do you have? Okay, so, so because I didn't want to think about my um, man manzanilla sweater, the math for the cuffs, I decided why not just cast on a whole other sweater. Why not? That's why what not? I do when I get bored of my stuff or don't want to mess with it. Cast on a new sweater. So I cast by on Fireside Love. by Jane Richmond. This is coming up kind of construction worker orange. It's not. It's a very fall autumnal orange. It's Yeah, it's very pumpkin orange. So it's this very pumpkin is orange. knit out of Cascade Eco Plus. And here it is. Well, you can see what the sweater looks like. I was going to show you, but... It's by Jane Rich Richmond. Jane Richmond. Right? Yeah. It's a paid-for pattern out of bulky weight yarn. And oh my gosh, you guys. I love this. I love it for you. I'm not happy like for you. Love. It is going to be... I know. I should have finished the sleeve yesterday. You're fine. It's so, fine. I, only have, I only have that sleeve left That's to go. So and then fun. weave in the ends and block it Dude, is it this out. the warmest sweater you've ever had? Ever? Yes. Oh my gosh. Everybody needs to make one of these. Like... Yeah, I kind of want, but I'm not so no, not so much with the shawl collar, for me personally. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna put a like I might put a, like a little latch here so it's not so open. Yeah, I don't know if that would look good on me. I don't think so. But, but I, it's for you. It's fantastic. I I don't mean that rude. Actually, no, it's, it's great. It's I love shawl collars. That kind of works for me. But I'm so I jealous. love I'm this. A bulky weight and I knit. Ooh. I love her patterns. So she gives you. I can't really show too much without giving it away. Oh yeah, so we mm, so have to this. fill it in, and that's what sucks. And I don't want to give away the pattern. So okay, she gives you the numbers for your. She size. gives you the numbers. So See, and then you highlight it down, and, and it just comes with a letter. And then she gives you then the pattern is only two pages because you fill in your numbers, so you don't have to sit there and sort through like five different five or six different sizes of numbers you just fill in the blanks yeah cast on so d so you find line d and that's i it. feel like you write it in you fill it in and so you only have to work with two pages once you do this part i feel like that's a lot of room for error like i feel like i might make mistakes but yeah no that's fantastic i love that I, like 
You talked about Jalissa. This is, I would love every pattern to be like this. I have to fill it in. I don't accidentally like decrease the wrong amount of times or, oh, if you're knitting size medium, move to this page. Yeah. You know, or, and if you're extra small, just keep going to the next step. No, it's all, every size is right there. You just fill in the blanks for your numbers and then you just start knitting. That's and you don't awesome. have to highlight or do have, the wrong number. Have or you anything. tried it on? I have. It fits beautifully. And what size needles did you use? So I did, the pattern calls for size nines and eights. So it's a nine. So I did size nine for uh, the shawl collar, the body, and the sleeves. And then I did size eights for the bottom ribbing. Mm -hmm. But I wanted the sleeves to be tight. Like I wanted, I didn't want them to be loose and baggy. So I knit the size, the sleeves on size sevens. So they would be even tighter. And it's kind of a rustic feeling yarn. How is it knitting with it? Um, fine. It's good. I mean, I, I, so, uh, sorry. So for the body and the shawl collar, I used just my Knitter's Pride Novas. They're kind of a blunt tip and that worked great. Like perfect for this bulk yarn. For the bottom ribbing, I used my high, high, sharp size eight. And I did find that the sharp needles kind of pierce the yarn quite a bit. Oh yeah. So you want more of like a, I felt, I found it easier to use a blunt tip and I'm using the Chai Gu, like lace um, nine inch circulars for the cuffs. And those are kind of piercing it too. So if, I love it. With a blunt tip. But I mean, I it's kind of loosely. Better, but it's not. The ply is pretty loose. I mean, so you really do want to. Um, I love tip. this. Like, I'm just going to grab your stuff here. I love this palette that you have working with. It's very fall. Like, it's all warm fall colors. All of my, I aside from it. my couch sweater, all my sweaters are pretty, um, dark, dark. I love orange. it. I even have an orange tank top that I knit. I've never worn that either. In fact, I, I went and even bought the magazine it was printed in, and I have never worn that. I love it. But I all of my, are, I wear a lot of autumnal, autumnal, autumnal I don't like colors. that word. I don't, I don't People like People use it a lot, but I don't know the pattern. So, but there's, so hopefully next time we podcast, guys, I will have two sweaters done. Completely off the needle. Because I am so close to finishing both of those. And I am knitting. Oh, my next finish, or work in progress. This are my so two fun. block road trip socks. This color, it looks all washed out, but it's not. It's actually really bright. See? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's way better. I don't know. So this is from Dogstar Knits. It's in his BFL sock. It's very soft and it's kind of shiny. Like it kind of reminds me of silk. So he had a contest to name the skein of yarn and my suggestion was two block road trip. And I will, I'm gonna tell you a different story than he told. <laughs> I am because the truth is, sorry Jake, I'm calling you a liar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, the truth is, is that this yarn was named after Stephanie and Howard's trip to Portland where they drove Jake to the airport. And, and then Jake talked about it like it was the best road trip of his life. It was a lot of fun. I'm sure it was a lot of fun, was, but was, I wasn't was included and I was kind of bitter. So my bitterness and spite inspired me to suggest two block road trip for their, his yarn. And that's what they named it. And I think it's bright and fun and probably just about as fun as that road trip was. The two whole blocks to the airport. I bet it was fantastic. It was fantastic. So, my bitterness and spite earned me a scan of yarn from Jake. And then I gave one away on my Instagram. And that was really fun. I just had people that drop it. That was a cute idea. Oh, gosh. That's leading us into another giveaway. Okay, cool. Um, so, um, I did a giveaway on my Instagram. And the winner was Spaghetti Yarns, which is Stacy. And what's really funny about that is that she lives right near me. She lives in Port Orchard. She was like 20 minutes away. And I was like, hey, do you want to just meet up and grab some coffee? And, you know, I'll give you your prize then. And she was like, yeah, that's fantastic. So we did. And I met up with her and she's a local dyer. She sells a lot in my yarn stores. And she's also got an Etsy shop, Spaghetti Yarns. And I just want to show this label because it is literally the cutest thing I've I ever love her label. seen in my life. It's like a little fork. And I asked her, I'm like, do you cut this all by hand? And she said, no, she has like a cricket or something. But look how fun that is, spaghetti yarn. That yarned. is a and she's her label. local to us. And she gave me and Stephanie both a skein of yarn. Thank and you I'm so much. So, it's 30% Tessa silk and 70% merino. And they are so soft and squishy. And it's single ply, which is totally my favorite. I love single ply. I told ply. her that too. She asked me. But I love 
single ply yarn. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It might go in my Marled Magic sweater. I think I'm going to cast another Marled Magic sweater on, guys, because I use size eights and it's huge, and I, I think I need to go down to fives. I want one so bad. Stacy brought us some yarn. Yarn beer. And in the sake of time, I mean, uh, she brought us some other things too, socks and scarves and another. Yeah. Thank you Stay so much. Yarn. And it was so sweet. She's the best. Thank you so much, Stacey. Seriously, thank, thank you. you. That's this amazing. And she got her yarn too, and I felt like, oh, I didn't realize we were bringing gifts, but here's your. It wasn't cute. You gave her a gift. Well, she well, won it, but I mean, it was. Well, yeah, but she had like these cute gift bags and everything that I took all out of it because I didn't want the crinkling, because they were in crinkly bags. Anyway, so she was so kind and so generous and so sweet, and her daughter was there too. It was adorable. And. She gave, donated a skein for you guys, and it's a beautiful blue and green, and there's so many greens in there. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous yarn. And it's the same tassel silk, 30% silk, 70% merino, single ply yarn. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous, and this is for one of you guys. So we're going to do a giveaway. Yay. Oh, we, we already picked the winner and everything, huh? Yeah. Because we, we, we decided to do a giveaway for our Stephen West Knit Along, where we are knitting the entire West Knits, West Knits Best Knits book. Um... And we haven't pulled a prize yet, so we pulled a prize out of there. Um, if you're not familiar, we're knitting the book. Um, you go to our page, and you put in an entry, and you put pictures of all your shawls. Finished objects count, and you have two years to knit the entire book. And um, you don't have to finish. You don't have to weave in your ends. You don't have to finish to be eligible for prizes. We're just drawing all your long. There will be a grand prize for the person who actually does finish. Yeah, and Good we're just, them. it was a goal we had, and we were yeah. like, why not include you? Some people want to, might want to do it with us, and people are, which is amazing. We were totally hoping that people would want to do it with us, but, so we thought, well, it's been going for a little bit. We'll draw from our, we'll draw from our thread, thread. and we did, and the winner was Vixter048 from Minnesota. So, congratulations, I think it was post number eight. Yes, yeah, eight, eight, post number eight. Um, Vixter's... 048. So we will give you a week to message us and um just because the surprise element if you have if you have not contacted us in a week we will contact you. Yes. Um but yeah. So there you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, and thank you for joining our cow with us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's still time. Oh, oh yeah, two it's, years. it's a 2 year knit And if guys, you finish the so. project, you don't have to knit it again. Yeah. Like if you've already done the doodler, that counts. So I think it's the first knit along I've ever heard of where finished objects count. And I'm all about that kind of knit along because it's very low effort. And you well, know, it's just fun. Cause... And if you put a doodler in there that you've already knit and then you never update it again, you're still eligible for prizes. So yeah, you why entered not? it. Congratulations. You're, you're golden. Yeah. So. But I mean, obviously, we want you to, you know, knit the shawls with us. Plan but... on participating, but we're not going to hold you accountable. We're not going to fact check you. I'm coming to your house to see what you've started. So, anyway, th but this is now living. And a project bag from the oh Stephen West shop. You guys. My, um, Kathy, who lives in Amsterdam, messaged me and said, Hey, I'm going to the Stephen West Mystery Knit Along launch. launch party. Would you like some swag? And I was like, uh, Yes, I would. Yes, I would. You are the best human being ever. And she is fantastic. So she picked us up those project bags for both of us. And then she picked us up some Stephen and Penelope gauge markers how cute. gauge stitch gauge stitchy thingies needle needle gauge needle gauges thank you they're not stitch markers that would be cute. no they're needle gauges um and then a book it's in the front of your knitting notes how cute is this guys and a sticker oh west knits are the best knits and we each got a mini and stitch mark this is going in mm. my this is oh. bubble oh. by and fiber. fiber sock. And the, oh, and the stitch mark. I'm so excited. I am so excited. This is going to go in my new Marl Magic that I'm going to cast on. So thank you so much, Kathy. That's amazing. You made my entire week. I was so happy. I got this yesterday, and I have just been in such a great mood ever since. Again, I'm so happy. Um, that was just the, the most thoughtful thing um, that anybody's pretty much ever done for me in my entire life. And then she mailed it all the way from Amsterdam, so... Oh my gosh, thank you so much, thank so sweet. Thank you so much, that is so nice, so sweet. And I just want to say, this color is Skinny Dip, in case anybody's wondering. And, and is, I love it. Oh my gosh. And this is Bubble. I love and, it. Yeah, no, I was so excited. I love this colorway, I want a whole skein of this. That is so pretty. 
This, mm. oh my gosh. I want so much of that. Okay. This, thank you so much, Kathy. Oh my so gosh. Much, Kathy. That was made amazing. So sweet. And perfect bag. So this is oh, loving actually West. in there. I know, myself. Me too. Speaking of Stephen West and the mystery and along, are you guys doing it? Are you guys doing it? So you should, excited. You should do it because we're we doing it. Yeah. And this was last year, the building blocks. And I love it. It's my favorite shawl and wear all the time. All the time. It's gorgeous. The other day, I accidentally dropped this in my toilet. <laughs> I did. And it didn't even get wet. It just like brushed against the side. But <laughs> my toilets are pretty clean. It's they so are, but... <laughs> That's gonna be our but, screenshot of my face. <laughs> Good. But no, it's, I don't even care. I'm like, um, well, this is your own toilet though, right? I'm gonna like, sit for like 24 hours. I'm like, yeah, the drums are probably gone. Yeah, it's probably It's probably okay. I don't know. It didn't get wet or anything. And my clothes are pretty clean. So, um, yeah, I thought it was fine. I'm like, whatever. I'm still gonna wear it. But if it was like an outhouse, bye. Bye, bye, shawl. <laughs> be one with the outhouse. <laughs> one, I would drop it in there and be like, that is not my problem anymore. <laughs> Then when people would ask me, what happened to your building blocks? I would act like I never, I didn't. I don't want to talk about, about it. What are you talking about? I never need a building blocks. I'll delete my YouTube channel. Anyway, <laughs> so the new one is coming up. It's Friday. I am so excited. I look forward to this all year. Like this is something that gets me going. I wake up in the morning because I'm like, hey, it's going to be mystery knit a long time soon. And you got your yarn. I did. Okay. Okay. So it's a fade. It, it is. The moral, yeah, it's the moral magic. It's not the moral magic. The, new, the mystery no longer is a fade. So I went to Chasing Rabbits Fiber Co. She's out of Texas. And um, I got, so these are going to be my three fade colors. So we have, I have a memorized color. Believe. believe. So Believe, Sunflower, and Honey. And oh my, this yarn feels so. It's so amazing. So amazing. It's so soft. It's 85% merino and 15% nylon. And oh Guys, look at those speckles. And her like, shipping was super fast. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. You guys should go check her out. She's on Etsy. Chasing Rabbits? Chasing Rabbits Fiber Company. Okay, and then for your pop. So for my pop is going to be Castle. I love this. And this was part of a fade kit, but you had to order them individually. Yeah, so she has fade kits on her site, and I really like this about her. So she has fade kits that you can order the fade kits, and then, but she also has the the colors individually on, in stock. So I didn't want a seven color fade kit. I only needed four. Four. And so I could order them individually, which was amazing. And Castle is just so pretty. It's got like these browns and yellows and grays. And then amazing. it even got like little hints of like this kind of deep purple color. Can you guys, it's kind of like purpley gray color. It's I amazing. love it. It's, it's amazing. Gorgeous. And you guys should go check her out. She's chasing rabbit's fiber. On Etsy, sorry. And um, I don't know if you guys can read that. It's probably blurry. That sucks. The Speckle yeah. and Pop Mystery Knit Along kits have been three colors and then like five minis. But you don't have to do five minis because who? That's eight colors. I can't put eight colors together. I can barely put two colors together. So every single pop is going to be this color, and it's. Oh, I know. I love it's it. excited. Yeah. Um, mine is not here yet. I ordered my yarn last Friday. Today's Sunday. It's coming tomorrow. Um, it's going to be some warm autumn colors. Red, it's gorgeous. And orange. And I'll show it to you when, you when I get here. But I'm really... The shipping took forever and I'm kind of sad. Um, the sh shipping took longer than they said it would. And it wasn't dyed to order or anything. So... I'm excited about the yarn. I really am. I'm genuinely excited. It's going to be gorgeous. It's not here yet though. So I guess you're going to see it when it's a work in progress. Or maybe I'll post it on Instagram or something. But I'm not excited about that um at all but it's gonna be great it's gonna be great and it's gonna be great i'm excited so i wanted to get this right so speaking i guess i can say speaking what do you, what's do you want to show that oh this is just my other work in progress that i was gonna oh okay you want to show that way i pulled okay. this up real quick so this is my brio chevron wrap that i have started i'm using malabrigo machita my daughter just walked by. She, needs, she needs a diaper change. <laughs> um, and I'm using this Malabrigo Storm colorway. And I bought this to make a sweater. And I actually did knit a sweater out of it. See this? Yeah. I knit a sweater out of it. And I got all the way to the sleeves. And then I decided to rip it out. This is gorgeous. What pattern were you making? Um, I don't remember. Amelia cardigan. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way that it was weird 
it didn't it's not oh it got lighter all the way through so the, the skeins are almost a gradient and I just it didn't work for what I wanted it for and I was like you know what this not I'm never gonna wear that ever so I have a sweater blank and I'm knitting my brioche chevron wrap in blues and greens and purples it's gonna be That's gorgeous my plan. so the other side looks like this I'm super excited about it. I actually haven't worked on it in a while, but I think it's going to be pretty. I think it's going to work out because the back side is going to be all that same storm color because I have three skeins. So Malabrigo, Machita, and Storm. It's like a speckly, it's like a black blue with some rainbow speckles in it. Gorgeous. And then blues and greens on the other side. So leftovers. This is from that, actually. So yeah, it's going to be really pretty. I am pretty excited about it. It's really simple. It's only four rows that you have to remember, and it's brioche. And brioche is not hard. So, um, that's going in my Stephen West knit along. Thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I haven't made any, I haven't worked on my, I have a few, like I have my pink socks, um, blueberry waffle socks, and I've made progress on the foot, but you guys, it's, it looks the same. So, I'm hoping to finish that this week. I'm hoping this will just be a big week of finishing. Yeah. And then I also have, um, which I showed last time, my Stephen West color craving. Mm -hmm. But I, I've i been knitting on my Rhymex oh, sweaters. And it's, it's a lot of fun. I love the, knitting on the color craving, but I've been knitting on my Rhymex sweaters. So it just hasn't gotten any love. So I'm not showing that this week. So there's that. So, and then I wanted to, we wanted to mention, we are doing a, like, Collaboration with Nancy from Round Rabbit, Lorelai from Handmade Lorelai. Handmade by Lorelai. Handmade by Lorelai. Sorry, Lorelai. Handmade by Lorelai. Uh, David from David Dog Dare. And Jake and Ray from the Dog Star Make Cast. Basically, our Rhinebeck roomies. All right. We are all staying in the same house. It's going to be so amazing. So amazing. I cannot wait. This is going to be the best day of my life. I'm actually kind of like happy that it's pretty far out because um, once it's gone, I'm going to be sad. So I'm really excited about the fact that I have something to look forward to. And it's like less than a month away. Yeah, it is. It's going to be amazing. So amazing. we decided because a lot of people are having cows and a lot, you know. Getting, and it's only a month away. It's so only a month away. It, we didn't. It's hard to schedule a cow with only a month. A lot of people need a lot more time than that. I know I do. Yeah. So um, we are doing a scavenger hunt. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. It, we are so excited about this. So. Um, the way it works is we're going to every, all of our podcasts are going to have a group in our Ravelry groups and, um, a post in our Ravelry group. A post in our Ravelry group. Sorry. It's not a group in our Ravelry groups. A post in our Ravelry groups and you come in and you put in the, the clues that you have found and you just go back and edit your same post. So you, sh you wouldn't have more than one entry. You'll just have, so, um, say you found the first clue, you clue. just go in and post that you found the first clue and what it is. And then if you find the second clue, then you just go back in and edit your original post with what the second clue was. Does that work? Because then everybody will see the clues that people have posted. That doesn't work. David, help us out. Hmm. We might have, we might have to work on this. But Hang anyway, on. we're doing a scavenger hunt and it's going to be amazing. We haven't worked out I all the details everybody yet. everybody would see that. We didn't really think yeah. that far. I don't think we thought that far out. But we all posted on Instagram. Yes. So go Oops. check our Instagram. Look at that. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be so fun. All of us posted on Instagram, so you can check all of our Instagram. Follow all of us, because we will be releasing clues. We're going to be doing some live podcasts from Rhinebeck, if we get cell phone reception. I don't know. Do people get cell phone reception in Rhinebeck? I have to do a live podcast? I hope so. No, we'll, I'll, we'll definitely be like doing if stuff not, from we'll, the house, too. We'll so. upload it from the house. We are all staying together. So it's gonna be the best yeah. day. But we'll also be doing like clues on um, Instagram. So make sure you follow us on Instagram if you want to join along. Follow all the other podcasters, all of the other people um, on Instagram. And um, yeah, yeah. So cool. we'll have so we'll have all the details posted in our group. And on we'll hash we'll figure this thing out because none of us really caught that before that everybody would yeah, see the clues. We've kind of we've been working on this. Also, I just want to share. Me and Stephanie got these tumblers from Starbucks from David, the dog care podcast. David. He mailed them to us. It's a total surprise. Um, but it's got like knitting patterns on it and uh, the Starbucks logo. David, 
Let's get married. I know, right? Let's get married. You're the best. Thank you so much. I'm so... God. I love you, David. Y'all are the best. Our knitted so community excited. is the greatest ever. I am so happy. This is so cute. But uh, somebody got one too, but the camera's leaning on it. So, <laughs> yeah, in a box. So we, so, we yeah. both got those. So that was really super Thank fun you, and unexpected and wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, David. That was great. I can't um, wait David to David at the Dog Bear Podcast, which he has like pretty much hands down the best podcast out there. Yeah. So you guys... I feel comfortable saying that. Yeah. yeah. I do too. Check it go out. Check, go check out David. He's amazing. Oh, and speaking of podcasts to check out, new one for me, um, Knitspired, which I think is such a great name, and I'm surprised it wasn't taken, honestly. I'm like, wow. That's amazing. She's Canadian, and she, or she's American, and she lives in Canada, and she's got a pretty great podcast. Um, she's got like 11 episodes out. I mean, you haven't checked her out. Can I you? haven't checked her out yes. yet, but you, uh, can you go? just, I think you just told me about her yesterday. Yeah, but she's, yeah, so she's, I haven't had time she's, to check her out yet. She's great. She knits a lot of great stuff. Um, she knit a lot of the, uh, Road to Rhineback Mystery Knit Along, um, with, from Mina. But Mina, yeah. Yeah, but she shows it and it's gorgeous. And then she's like, oh no, I dropped a stitch like eight inches up. I'm going to rip it out. And I'm like, do not rip that out. Please don't rip that, that out. That will break my so heart. In. Right? And, she, and I told her that too. But she was like, no, I made a couple more mistakes. I don't care. I would not. I would not rip it out. Good for you. Dude, all my projects have mistakes in them. Right? My Julissa, I dropped a stitch on a sleeve. Like right here. And I didn't notice until I finished. I'm just going to tack that down. I am not ripping back. It's not happening. It was handmade. It's going to have mistakes. That's just how it is. That's life. Yeah, I, I don't rip back. That makes it unique. I don't know. I'm not ripping out. Mm-mm. If I rip out, it's for good. Which, by the way, speaking of ripping out, Spicy, Ham- oh, Spicy Homemaker is doing a rip out your cozy memories along. Have you seen uh, that? No. Okay, she just posted a new video. So. I've only seen so, the first five. Sorry, minutes Melissa, of it. I haven't. I haven't. But she just posted it. So my plan today, after we do podcasting and everything, is to go home and catch up on some Melissa. Because if you she's, guys don't watch Spicy Homemaker, I'll, she's right up there with David. You need she, to go check her out. She's, she's the amazing. Sweetest. She's oh the sweetest. Anyway. But she's doing a rip out along of your cozy memories blanket, because you know what? I think I could join. I have three F squares. That mess. I know. I'm, I think I threw mine away. I, don't I think know. I threw it in the garbage. I, honestly, I think I did. <laughs> if I find it, I am going to rip it out. I think I threw and mine away. Video too. it and enjoy it because that did not work out for me. If you knit a cozy memories blanket and you saw it all the way through, congratulations. That is good for you. I applaud you. But you know what? It just didn't work out for me. I still love minis. I still love using up my scraps, but I think I'd rather have a scrappy sweater than a cozy memories blanket. Because I kept, I had the same problem she did where I forget how to knit it. I have to keep looking up the directions. You can't really put it down. It's not something that you can just set down in the middle of a row, you know. And I need things that I can set down. I have five kids. I have a life, sort of. I have things I got to do. I have to be able to just set stuff down. So, it didn't work out for me. And everything that she said about it spoke to my soul. And she is the greatest, so I definitely want to see if... I hope I didn't throw mine out, because I definitely want to participate I I in that. My, I really do think I threw mine out, because I was like, this is... I did three squares, and I'm like, oh, this will just be a long-term project. And then I was like... And then I saw the Crafty Toads. Hey, girls. And I they did... The and they were doing a... They were like, uh, forget that. We're doing a scrappy sweater. And I'm like... I'm doing a scrappy sweater. So I started a scrappy sweater. I've actually done a little bit on it, but not enough for like, I feel like to show you guys. But I was, it, I was looking at it today, going, I, I, I should throw a few. Maybe I'll work on that between my Stephen West cow because I need to throw some more rows in there. Sorry. But um, so, yeah. I need to go. I, if you uh, have a cozy memories blanket that is in the graveyard and you have been like, nope, I'm not doing that anymore, go check out Melissa's podcast because she's doing a, a rip along. Wow, that's amazing. I, I know. I'm going to go she's, watch it now. She's my favorite. Well, I would have watched I it anyway. She's but... one of my favorite people in the entire world. She's going to be at Ryan back, I and know. I'm going to hug her. Oh, Maybe. I might wave for a distance. But she doesn't see me. <laughs> that might happen, too, because I'm really shy. Um, oh, my gosh. I'm so excited she's going to be there, though. Dude, guys, we're going to Ryan back. We're flying in. We are going. It's going to be amazing. And I know you all are tired of hearing about that. Sorry. But we're doing the scavenger hunt, and we're going to actually buy presents or buy prizes at Rhineback. So if you can't go to Rhineback, check out our scavenger hunt and the other things that we got going on because we will get you something. Yeah, we're going to do... Most of the prizes will be coming from Rhineback so you yes. guys can get a piece of it. Right? How fun is and that? Join in, join in with us with the scavenger hunt and do things while we're there. We're kind of trying to make it an interactive experience with everybody. Yeah. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun and we're all doing it together. So just watch our, watch our channel, watch our Instagrams and... 
get ready because it's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be a absolute blast. And then um, we had some something going on with um, David, not David, Jake, Jake from Dog Star. Uh, we had a knit along plan. That's actually, and I teased about it on Instagram. Um, we were been... all set to do it, and then the timing just doesn't. It's not going to work out. We're going to probably end up putting it off until after Rhinebeck, November, maybe sometime. Um, See, it's just been postponed for. There's a lot of things coming. A lot I'm of not, things coming up, and we're just. Um, I'm not going to talk about Jake's like his life, but he's got some like major life events happening. They're happy. But it's just he's gonna be really busy for a while, so we're gonna put that off. We're just putting it off, but it will happen. It will so. happen. You will get to see the gray yarn that I showed off, like the black and white gray stuff that I showed off on my thing. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I'm not gonna be able to show it to you guys right away. But we're still really excited about it. And I hope that my eyes wandering back and forth hasn't been a problem for anybody. I feel like I'm further off to the side. I've been trying to look at the camera. It's actually really hard. I feel like I'm normally on that side. Maybe that's the problem. We switch sides. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, no. So I think that's kind of all we had. This is kind of short. Yeah, I would have thought it'd been longer, but I don't know. I feel like we just kind of rushed through a lot of stuff. But you know what? That's okay. Forty-five minutes is good too. Yeah. So, um, okay. So we'll see you guys when we see you. We'll see you when we see you. Or you'll see us. You'll see us when you see us. Because <laughs> we don't. Yeah. It's if you don't weird have to say if, that. If you don't have a podcast, you start one. We just use our phone. We don't edit. We don't do anything like that. We just, you know. I mean, if we can do a podcast, you can do a podcast. So yeah. it's definitely a great way to get involved in the knitting community. I'm so glad we did. I'm so thankful. Me too. That we did. It's we got fantastic. to meet so many amazing people. It's been great. And we've been doing it for a year. Yeah, happy pot anniversary to us back in August. Back in August. We never really mentioned that, but. No, we didn't. Yay. Woo. No. Thank you, Molly. My Molly's daughter, cooking. Molly is cooking on the kitchen set that we have in the living room, so. Thank you, Molly. Are anyway. Give me some food, Molly. So, yeah. So, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, message mm. us on Instagram. Message us on Ravelry. we got the group going on. We are open to being talked to all the time. But I'm really shy, so I probably won't message you first. Just yeah, saying. I'm shy too. So I mean, just, I'm not very good at putting myself. I mean, I, I say I'm not good at putting myself out there, but I'm making podcasts. But it's it's one of the scariest things we ever did. But I'm, I'm so glad. Yeah. We did. No, I am too. But I'm just it's hard for me to put myself out there like to message people first. Yeah. Like, like that if they already have enough friends and, and they don't want to be friends. With right. Me. And I'm kind of awkward. I'm like I'll be like, hey. So awkward. How, how are you? I like knitting too. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> If you're awkward, go ahead and message us because we understand. We get it. That's exactly how I am. But I love hearing from you guys. So, and I love it when you guys message me. And I love meeting new people yeah. and talking to people. I'm just like, I, I'm really shy to make that first. Yeah. I know. It's a problem. It's a problem. Step. I don't know. But, so here we go. Oh, yeah. thank you, Molly. Are you Sorry. Concerned? I'm so sorry about that. Um, all my kids are gone right now, except for Molly. And Nail's at work and on a Sunday. And so I kind of have to just do this in my living room. And Molly's here with us. She's actually been really good. No, she's so, been so really she's... great. It's just, I don't know, and it's been two weeks, so we wanted to yeah, say, hi, yeah. check in, say hi, and this is what you get. Announce our Rhinebeck scavenger hunt, which will be hashtag Rhinebeck scavenger, scavenger hunt 2000... 2017. Is it 2017? Yeah, two, Rhinebeck, it'll be Rhinebeck scavenger hunt 2017. So, yeah, we're going to work out some of those details and let you know. That didn't really make a lot of sense. Okay. Anyway, that's fine. So that's not good. We should probably go. Molly's yep, She's doing some so. serious amount of cooking over there. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Yep. We will see you later. All right. Bye. bye.